Hello, and welcome to this high jump analysis video brought to you by High Jump Help. High Jump Help will analyze your high jump videos for free. Please send your videos to Coach White at highjumphelp.com for a chance to have your video reviewed for free on YouTube like this one. When analyzing videos, we always use the four baby steps of high jump. High Jump Help's proven framework to learn how to high jump. The four baby steps are one, the approach two, the takeoff, three, the knee drive, and four, the overbar mechanics, also known as the backbend. The high jump baby steps are in order of importance and each baby step builds off the others, so always do them in order. While coaching, remember, a person can only focus on one coaching cue at a time. So while coaching, prioritize what one cue you will tell your athlete by working through the four baby steps. Start with the approach, and end at the overbar mechanics or the back bend. So first let's take a look at the video a couple times. We'll do two in regular motion, then one in slow motion. So the first thing we'll take a look at is the um, athlete's approach. So overall it looks pretty consistent. He's getting aggressive here, but you'll notice right about here, he slows down a little bit and his step gets long. So having a long step on your very last step before you take off is like putting on the brakes right before the jump. So I would tell this athlete that he needs to move up a shoe so he can shorten up those last two steps a little bit. Those, that, this last step should be short and quick. Next, let's take a look at his takeoff. So overall, I would say the takeoff isn't too bad. You'll notice here his shoulders are away and his foot here is about a 45 degree angle. Okay, so that's pretty good. One thing you will notice here though is the athlete's shoulders do collapse into the bar a little bit. But overall, I would say that's due to his last step being so long. So overall, I would not tell this athlete to improve anything on his takeoff. Next, let's take a look at the athlete's knee drive. So you can see here, the athlete's knee drive is pretty good. Really, the only reason this athlete has a pretty decent attempt at this height is because his knee drive is so good. So you'll notice how he's driving it to the bar here and how also it's across his body. So you'll notice here, right here, his knee is driving across his body all the way to the bar, and that's getting his back to the bar. So overall, his knee drive is good. It's the reason he had a good attempt at this, at this height. Um, so I would not tell this athlete anything to work on uh, for his knee drive. Last but not least, let's take a look at his overbar mechanics, also known as the backbend. So really the athlete can improve on his backbend. So you'll notice here how the athlete snaps on the bar. Um, obviously a big part of this is because he's so far away, he's really reaching, that he comes down on the bar. So that's the first part of it. But let's say in the next attempt, the athlete does a better job of being quick on those last steps. Um, then you know he really needs to focus on holding this this back bend and really in reality even though his last steps were long if he would have held this like he should have he would have made this bar so what i want you to notice here is his chin so his chin is back here he's doing a really good job and now notice how his chin is starting to come up 
and his hips drop. Okay, so that's a good coaching tip. Anytime the athlete's chin starts coming to their chest, their hips will drop. So that's why it's so important that athletes do not look at the bar while they're jumping. They need to throw their head back and not look at the bar until they hit the mat. So if this athlete was in the correct spot on his approach after the next attempt, I would tell him to hold his back bend, back bend longer by not looking at the bar. Now, let's talk about what the athlete should do in practice. The first drill I would have this athlete work on is short approach drills. See the link to the drill on your screen. The short approach helps athletes stay aggressive on their last steps and makes them hold their back bends longer because they have less speed. The second drill I would have the athlete work on are box jumps. See the link to the drill on your screen. Box jumps force athletes to be quick and aggressive on their last steps and gives the athlete more time in the air to practice holding their back bends and not looking at the bar. A second reminder that High Jump Help will analyze your high jump videos for free. Please send your videos to Coach White at highjumphelp.com to have your videos reviewed. If you are interested in educating yourself in the high jump and learning more about the four baby steps of high jump, check out the High Jump 101 eCourse. A link is below in the description. You can try out the introduction to the eCourse for free by clicking on the video on your screen. For more resources, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website, Facebook page, or Instagram. All the links are in the description below.